Okay everyone, welcome back to part 3 of 3 of uh, practice for the British Indoor Karting Championship at Team Sport Nottingham. As you can see in the start of this video, I am second on the second row rather than third. All that is, is they have an extra car on that first row, so Ryan went in at the back of the first row instead. You can see there he is, Marshall almost hits him with the head, in the head with the tyres. Uh, so then it's Sam and then it's me uh, as we start our final session which also means it will be the final of a basically a three video series of, a, of this night at, at the track and practicing. I noticed coming up straight around that first corner that the car that I'm in for this session has a lot more grip than, uh, than the previous two cars that I've had so uh, that puts me in high hopes to, uh, to, to reach my goal uh, at the time which was a sub 36 second lap or 36 seconds flat which is what I was going for so as we come round to the back to the start finish straight to start our first flying lap you can see the guys uh, that were at the back of the pit lane have just come out again um, yeah so basically all it is in this session is uh, it's last session of the evening both for us and for the staff as well so they'll be locking up after we've done yeah um, so I'll leave you with the video and uh, you can see how I got on
Uh, okay guys, so one thing that did happen in this session was there were quite a, a few yellow lights towards the end. Uh, what you will notice is that the guy in front of me does slow down to what what would you, what you would technically call what is actually a walking pace. So he's not he's doing it right, um, but obviously once you're in the carts at the time, it feels like he's like really only crawling forwards at like maybe one mile an hour or so, if that. And he tries to tell him to come past. So say, say turns like I can't put it yellow lights. Um, but then the lights go green. He doesn't actually let me pass him to start off with. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he was what he was thinking at the time. Um, what it is is we are going to get try and get past him. I don't believe we do, but we'll see in uh, in just a second as we come back down the ramp and across the back of the track down the hairpin. And um, the yellow light should come back pretty much any second. I think it might, it, it might have been as we came back of the uh, up the back. Back straight up the main straight and around the corner. Or it, might, uh, it must have been the next lap. So you can see, uh, I'm just kind of trying to stick behind him as much as I can, try and get past him before the lights go yellow. He slips off a little bit there, which means I take the corner a bit tighter, slows you down uh, for, going, for going up the ramp, which isn't, isn't what you want. You don't want that at all. Um, you want to try and carry as much speed as you can going into the up ramp. Uh, so you don't, obviously, anybody that behind you just walk quicker or is lighter, they are definitely going to catch you up uh, on there. So, yeah, as you can see there, yellow lights come on, he slows down to this really, really slow pace again, which, obviously, that's fine, but um, as somebody who goes quite, quite a bit, uh, I know you, you can go a bit faster than this. And the fact that he goes so wide and stops does mean that I actually... I do actually end up overtaking him, um, so he's behind me now. Thankfully, thankfully, I don't think any of the marshals saw, uh, so I got away with it. As the lights go green again, and this is what I mean by keeping pace on the up ramp. The lights go green as I'm coming up to it, so I've got the momentum. He just comes straight past me again. Um, I think we should get him back here. Oh, lights go yellow again. So again, he comes down to like uh, to a real a real snail's pace. Um, as I, I get bumped in the back over there. See, look, it goes completely, it goes really wide on the track. In fact, it effectively stops, so I, I, uh, I just carry on going around. But I believe he comes past us again, just there, yeah, and there, uh, the lights go green. And he goes to the outside line, which means I'm going I'm to be able to come up on the inside and uh, finally, finally cement that overtake as we go into another lap. guys just a couple more laps left in this session now as you can see Adam comes back past me uh, he is by far the fastest person on the track he set the fastest lap time in all three sessions the fastest of which on this night being a 34.001 seconds so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep as close to him as possible to if I can learn his lines as somebody with more, much more experience on the track than me um, 
my fastest lap so far is a 36.3 and yeah so I so say we're going to stick behind him see what we can do see if we can drop that down to a uh, to a 36 possibly 35 second lap And there we have it everybody, that is the chequered flag for the third session and the end of the evening. Having set out after our first session to achieve a 36.0 second lap, we actually achieved a 35.7 second lap. So, uh, improved a bit more than we were expecting to, uh, definitely not disappointed with it at all by any means. So all there is now is to improve on some corners, mainly um, this one we're actually coming up to. I feel like I can improve on that a little bit more. The hairpin leading up to the up ramp and uh, the last corner of the track, the, uh, the double left hander. Um, heading there, hey, we're, me and Sam were heading back in a couple of days. Uh, there'll be a video for then as well, so expect that sometime this weekend, most likely uh, around mid to late Sunday. What I might do on there is, uh, I'll probably, we're only going for two sessions then, what I'll do is I'll most likely take the best bits on the fastest laps and such and uh, I'll just melt those into one almost highlight video for you to enjoy. So coming into the pits, the staff are really friendly, you can have a bit of a laugh with them as you can see just here, so it's good to park it where he is, so I do try and run him over, just a bit of friendly banter between us of them, and that will be the right. end of the video, thanks for watching. <laughs> okay guys, just while these aerial shots are saying, I just want to say please make sure if you've enjoyed the video you do leave me a like, uh, and please subscribe to the channel, it really does help us grow. Also, comment below any more tracks you think I should uh, race at me along with Sam. Um, hope you enjoy.